Lieutenant Colonel Augustus Henry Archibald Anson. VC was a member of the Anson family and a recipient of the Victoria Cross, the highest and most prestigious award for gallantry in the face of the enemy that can be awarded to British and Commonwealth forces. He served as Member of Parliament for Lichfield from 1859 until 1868, and for Boodley from 1869 to 1874. Life and career Anson was a son of Thomas Anson, 1st Earl of Lichfield, and it was when he was 22 years old and a captain in the 84th Regiment of Foot, during the Indian Mutiny, when the following deeds took place on 28 September 1857 at Bolanshar and at Lucknow, on 16 November 1857, for which he was awarded the VC. Dispatch from Major General Sir James Hope Grant, KCB, dated 12 August 1858, for conspicuous bravery at Bolanshawar, on 28 September 1857. The 9th Light Dragoons had charged through the town, and were reforming in the Sarai. The enemy attempted to close the entrance by drawing their carts across it, so as to shut in the cavalry and form a cover from which to fire upon them. Captain Anson, taking a lance, dashed out of the gateway, and knocked the drivers off their carts. Owing to a wound in his left hand, received at Delhi, he could not stop his horse, and rode into the middle of the enemy, who fired a volley at him, one ball passing through his coat. At Lucknow, at the assault of the Secundra Bog, on 16 November 1857, he entered with the storming party on the gates being burst open. He had his horse killed, and was himself slightly wounded. He has shown the greatest gallantry on every occasion, and has slain many enemies in fight. On his return to England, he married Amelia Clotton, a daughter of the future First Bishop of St. Albans, Reverend. Thomas Legg Clotton. Anson later achieved the rank of lieutenant colonel. In 1859, he was elected Member of Parliament for Lichfield as a Liberal, holding the seat until 1868. Although losing the by-election in 1869 for Boodley the election was overturned on petition and the seat was awarded to him. He won the subsequent election and remained in Parliament until 1874. In 1870, he was one of two directors of the Land and Sea Telegraph Construction Company Limited. As it applied to be wound up, the other being William Palliser. Anson was then of Dudley House, Park Lane, in the county of Middlesex. Anson died at the age of 42 in Cannes, France, and was buried there. There is a memorial plaque to him in Lichfield Cathedral. Works the supersession of the colonels of the Royal Army.